Hello everyone, this is Evie the Sponge Reviewer here, and I am back with another video for this week. It's because that something recently happened on Twitter today, and I want to give out my overall opinions on this matter, and why I think that this whole little argument that's going on on Twitter right now is a little bit stupid. Um, I wouldn't say it's like an argument, but it kind of seems like that people are actually getting sort of upset about this. And I want to give out my own opinions on this. And it honestly just doesn't make any sense to me of why this is all getting backlash for no apparent reason. And that is um, something about a particular SpongeBob mobile app um, called uh, SpongeBob a Krusty Cookoff. So um, this... So this morning I was actually on Twitter and I've noted and I saw this tweet s announcing that um, this SpongeBob uh, mobile app by the name of Krusty Cookoff is coming to the Nintendo Switch eShop. And um, after that tweet had came out, um, Nintendo actually uploaded the trailer for that SpongeBob Krusty Cookoff mobile app game coming to the Nintendo Switch to their YouTube channel, and um, people are actually getting upset about this is because that they is because that Nintendo is charging thirty dollars um for a mobile app game being brought over to the Nintendo Switch console for the eShop for thirty dollars where you can just play it for free on the mobile app. Now this is where I come into play to tell you why I find this ridiculous is because that I don't see what the problem is. I don't see what what the argument is like what's the argument are you upset that the game is being poured over to the switch for thirty dollars and and where you can just play it on your phone and and, and it's for free on the on the mobile version while the switch version is thirty dollars the part that i don't get is that what's wrong with a mobile app being ported over to another piece of hardware like it's it's multi platform. It's 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 turning into multi platform. I assume, and if it's going to be multi platform, then of course it's they're going to charge you money for it. So I don't know what the issue is. Like, what's the problem? Like, is it is it because that oh I can play this game for free on a mobile device? Why should I buy it on the Switch? I mean, if I want to be totally honest, may I ask you a question? Are people still playing mobile games nowadays? I mean, I, I know there's some people out there who still play mobile games, but. I've heard that mobile games nowadays do microtransactions and people really aren't mobile gamers. People are, are usually playing on their Switch, their Xbox Series S, PlayStation 5s. There's not that many mobile gamers out there. Most people are playing video games on their PlayStations and their Nintendo Switches. So what's wrong with SpongeBob Krusty Cook-Off being multi-platform on the eShop? I mean... What's what's wrong with it? Like, is it because they're charging thirty dollars for it, where you can just play it for free on the mobile phones? Well, if if you're not gonna play it on the Switch, then you can just play it on the mobile version. Like, I mean, I don't see what I don't honestly I don't get it. Like, I don't see what the issue is. Like, what's wrong with the game being ported to the Switch? Like, it's it, there's nothing wrong with a mobile app being ported over to another to another console because it's multi-platform. I, I, I assume that that most people out there aren't, aren't even mobile gamers. They might want to have another alternative for the game, and that's why they probably must have brought it over to the Switch is because they probably wanted to make it multi-platform. So if, if you're not into mobile gaming, you can actually play it on a home console. And, and, and another thing, you can actually play it on your TV because the Nintendo Switch is a hybrid console where it's both home console and portable, so you can actually play the game on your TV for a better experience. And it's only thirty dollars. Like, what's wrong with thirty dollars? Like, and then people complain about these multi, about these triple A games that have no type of content thrown in for sixty dollars. Like, they like most people people complain about triple A games being sixty dollars, and yet they're complaining about a thirty dollar um, port of a spongebob mobile game being ported over to the switch and i don't get people i just really don't get people they they, they 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 try to find ways to complain about stuff and it just doesn't make any sense to me because why is this even escalated into complaining anyways if if you don't like it being 
If you don't like the fact that it's being ported over to the Switch, then you don't have to buy the game. You don't have to buy the $30. You don't have to pay $30 for the game. If you want to play it, then just play it on, on, the, on, the, on your phones then. You don't have to get upset about it because it's being ported over to the Switch, eShop. Like, if you don't care about it, then just don't buy it. Simple. Don't give Nintendo your money if you're not happy with what you get because you're just wasting your time because, I don't know, I, I don't get it. Like... I just don't get it because I don't see what's the issue is. Like, oh, it's a mobile game that is for free being ported over to the Switch or being brought over to the Switch and it has better graphics and stuff. I mean, I haven't played the game. It's, I haven't played the game. I, I don't even think I've ever heard the game until now. I mean, I may have heard of it, but I don't really care it's because that I'm not a mobile gamer. I don't care about iPhone games. But for these people who are that upset about it, like, if you're that upset about it, then why don't you just play the mobile version then? Like, I don't see what's the issue is. I don't see what's wrong with a with a mobile game being brought over to a home console or PC or whatever, because what's wrong with that? It's, it's just, it's just a, a another version of the game, or, or it's just being brought over to another, to, to another console. So th that's, that's all it is. That's all I see of it. I don't see what the issue is. And, and and thirty dollars isn't all that expensive. Like for 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 it's a it's a game for crying out loud. And of course it's going to be charged for thirty. I mean, well, yeah, there's I, I I do believe there's some Switch games out there on the eShop that is for free, but for some reason this game is thirty dollars. But I mean, I can't say anything about it. I, I, but again, thirty dollars isn't all that expensive. If I want to be honest, it's not like it's sixty dollars or anything. I mean, if it was sixty dollars, then yes, that would be ridiculous. But the fact that it's only thirty then I don't see a problem to be complaining in the first place. Well, that's all I have to say here. It, it seems like I'm rambling here, but that's all I wanted to address is because that this just popped up on Twitter today. It, it kind of baffled me in a way. And I'm like, why are people complaining about this, that the game is, is being ported over to the Switch for $30? And if you know you're not going to buy it, then why should you care? Like, don't give Nintendo any of your attention, please. Like, and don't seem like I'm defending them. I'm not trying to defend anything. I'm just trying to make common sense to these people saying that, okay, why are you, why is this turning into a big deal? Like, if you, if, if it's $30, then just don't give Nintendo your money. Just don't buy the game then if you don't, if, if, if it bothers you that much. Like, don't make a huge scene about it. I don't, I don't get people. I just don't get the internet. This is, this is, that's Twitter for you guys. That's Twitter. All right, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, what are your thoughts about this? If you, if you played uh, SpongeBob Krusty Cook-Off, please let me know in the comments below. Tell me about tell me about it. And yeah, so I will drop the, the, the Nintendo video of the trailer in the description below. I'm recording this on my phone, so I will not have a thumbnail for this video out until, until I get back on my laptop. So yeah, so in the meantime, my face will be the thumbnail. But in the meantime, that is. But whenever I get... On my laptop, you'll notice that the, the thumbnail will change to a proper one. But for right now, this is going to be the thumbnail for the video. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said earlier, tell me tell me your guys' thoughts on SpongeBob's Krusty Cook Off. Like, if you if you played the game before on your phones, let me know what it is if you if you want if you would like. And I will I like to hear your opinions about your thoughts about SpongeBob Krusty Cook Off being ported over to the Nintendo Switch eShop or being brought over to the eShop for $30, and again, I don't see why people are complaining about this, like, you don't have to buy it, I mean, it's that simple, why are you making a, why are you getting all upset about it, like, I don't know why, I just don't get it, I just really don't, all right, thank you guys for watching, see you later.